What's up, everyone? Welcome back. All right, so I'm going to see what this is all about, just for the hell of it. Okay, so I guess this basically just lets you do whatever then, without doing the uh, massive thing or whatever, whatever the hell it's called. Okay, interesting. Just want to check that out. That's kind of random. <laughs> that is fantastic. That's kind of somewhat trippy. So yeah, there's different things you can do with this game. I gotta say, as far as my first impressions overall, it's actually kind of an interesting use of the Joy-Con's HD rumble feature. And as much as I hate to admit it, it is actually an excellent showcase of what the uh, Nintendo Switch Joy-Con's HD rumble is actually capable of. So if you guys are curious about like how good the HD rumble is in the Joy-Cons, Definitely pick up this game because as much as I, again, as much as I hate to admit it, this game is an excellent showcase of what the HD Rumble can actually do. It is definitely a game changer. When Again, when it first came out, I didn't think too much of the HD Rumble feature, but that proved me wrong, especially when I was playing, you know, uh, Breath of the Wild for the first time and then... You know, you could really feel that HD rumble. It's like, wow, that is that is actually a game changer. And this game is an excellent showcase of 
like why the HD Rumble is actually such a big deal. And it's fucking awesome. All right, well, anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this for now. And uh, it'll be on to the next game I have on my list of the three most ridiculous games that I could possibly find to celebrate my, you know, triumph in gaining 100 subscribers and my six-year anniversary on YouTube. So, anyway, guys, stay tuned. Until next time, peace out.